Hi, I'm Russell Ray, Managing Editor of Power Engineering Magazine. It's the final day here at PowerGen International and Nuclear Power International 2011. By all accounts, it's been one of the best years in the show's history. The conference sessions have been packed and the exhibit floor has been busy. This was the first year for the Financial Forum, which we kicked off with a two-hour roundtable discussion about financing strategy, the risks, and emerging new sources of funding. The finance market, is, as you know, we all know already, has already kind of had a flight to quality and relationship. Uh, uh, you know, there's a, a lot of banks, uh, even European banks, that are still uh, involved actively in, in, uh, in syndications and, and leading uh, syndications, but they're looking for quality. So they want to see balance sheets behind the assets, they want to see quality of offtake, and they want to see additional credit support where, where it's available. So, so I think the M&A activity will move in the right direction to enable that. Uh, so look for, uh, I think, an uptick even in M&A, both in, in power and gas and renewables. Larry Kellerman, the CEO of Quantum Utility Generation, spoke at our keynote luncheon. Mr. Kellerman gave the attendees some practical advice on how to secure financing for your energy project in this tight financial market. If I really look at this, there's some, there may be some bad years and events. I may really want to put in 75 million and have a little bit more of a debt service cushion for the bad years. What happens is once you take the debt, you've entered into a deal. I mean, you, you could call it a deal with the devil. Uh, it's an angel. It looks like an angel on day one, but when you, when you hit a default, that angel becomes a devil. Take a look at this sweet ride. Later on today, we're going to give away this brand new Chevy Corvette to one lucky attendee here at PowerGen International. You still have time to enter. All you have to do is take your card around to the participating exhibitors taking part in the giveaway. Earlier, we talked to Kara Sweeney. She's an international trade specialist with the Department of Commerce. She talked to us about all of the international trade opportunities DOC is offering to exhibiting companies here at PowerGen. Kara, I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about the Showtime program. Sure, we're very excited. It's a collaboration with the International Trade Administration and the U.S. Commercial Service uh, Energy Team. And we have 25 of our colleagues from U.S. Embassies who are energy specialists. And they're here with a delegation of foreign buyers that they brought. And also they're available for one-on-one -on -one appointments with U.S. exhibitors. So the U.S. exhibitor can come in and sit down and learn about the market and what opportunities are there. And then there'll be some matchmaking with the delegation. Speaking of appointments, uh, how many appointments do you have uh, set up? I'm very excited to say that we have 400. Uh, so through the course of the show, we'll have 400 meetings with our specialists. Fantastic. Kara, thank you so much for your time. Some of the world's leading energy experts spoke at this week's conference sessions. We ran into one person from Nigeria who got a lot out of this week's conference sessions. Here's what he had to say. I'm from Nigeria. I work in the power sector back in Nigeria. I'm on the presidential tax force on power. There is a lot of content that is relevant to the industry, to advancement, to cutting edge, to best practice. So the content of the conference really reflects what is happening in the world today in power, and that's important. Brian Wheeler has been covering the sessions over at Nuclear Power International. Brian joins us now with a recap of today's events. Thanks, Russell. Wednesday morning, a session examined plant lifetime extension and the challenges facing owners and operators to extend plant operating performance while reducing costs. Rob Bouchard with Babcock and Wilcox Canada spoke about the issues surrounding updating nuclear power plants. Canadian people are starting to get tired of the overspends and the overruns and are starting to look for alternatives. So we have to really uh, change, change the way we execute these projects so that we can demonstrate that uh, we can do it well, we can do it within budget and we can keep the costs down. The events at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant were addressed again today during Nuclear Power International. Wednesday afternoon, speakers from the Ammerman Experience in Exelon discussed how the nuclear accident in Japan highlighted how important good communication practices are during a crisis. The panel presented techniques for effective communication during unplanned events. I look forward to seeing all of you again next year in Orlando. Russell, we'll go ahead and send it back to you. As you can tell, it's been another great year for PowerGen International. Planning for next year's event is already underway. We look forward to seeing you next year in Orlando. For Power Engineering Magazine, I'm Russell Ray.